This preoperative patient education informational video is intended to educate patients on specific medical procedures. Patients are strongly encouraged to contact their surgeon for more information or with questions regarding the information presented in this video. Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Rubin, a member of the Society for Vascular Surgery. This video will help you understand the risks and benefits of open surgical repair of an abdominal aortic aneurysm. An aortic aneurysm is a bulging or ballooning out of the main artery in the body, called the aorta. The aorta carries artery blood from the heart, passes through the chest, and enters the abdomen. All of the major arteries in the body are branches off the aorta, including several important branches that come off the aorta in the abdomen. In the upper abdomen, artery branches to the intestines, liver, and kidneys leave the aorta. The aorta then continues further down until it ends by branching into the right and left iliac arteries that carry blood to the legs and pelvic organs. Most abdominal aortic aneurysms affect the portion of the aorta just below the kidney arteries and above the iliac branches. It's also fairly common for the iliac arteries to have aneurysms as well, occurring around 25% of the time. Abdominal aortic aneurysms can also begin immediately below or even above the level of the kidney artery branches, which occurs in around 5% of patients. The purpose of the surgery is to prevent the aneurysm from rupturing or bursting. Like blowing up a balloon, as the size of the aneurysm increases, the wall of the aorta gets thinner until the aneurysm ruptures. Failure to treat an aneurysm will usually result in progressive enlargement with an increasing risk that it will rupture. Most aneurysms cause no symptoms until they rupture. In fact, many aneurysms are discovered accidentally on a radiology study, such as a CAT scan, conducted for another purpose. A ruptured aneurysm frequently results in death, often before patients can reach the hospital. Therefore, vascular surgeons recommend open aneurysm repair as a method to fix the aortic aneurysm before it causes problems. The best predictor for the risk of aneurysm rupture is its diameter. A CAT scan with intravenous contrast is typically used to evaluate the precise location and diameter of the aneurysm and to aid in planning surgery. For most patients, an aneurysm of a diameter of 5.5 centimeters or larger is recommended for surgical treatment. In women or in aneurysms with unusual bulges or weak areas, smaller aortic diameter aneurysms are typically recommended to undergo surgery. For the last 60 years, surgeons have been treating patients with aortic aneurysms using open surgical repair. The technique employed today has been used for several decades and has been proven a safe and durable treatment. Because this is considered major surgery, patients with pre-existing heart, lung, or kidney problems may require additional testing to evaluate their individual risk of open surgical aneurysm repair. The surgery is performed under general anesthesia. An incision is made down the middle of the abdomen or along the left flank. Both incisions are widely used and you may want to discuss with your surgeon which approach is best suited to treat your aneurysm. A fairly long incision is typical since the aorta is located directly in front of the spine. Clamps are placed on the aorta above and below the aneurysm to temporarily stop the flow of blood to your pelvis and legs. During this period of time, blood thinner is administered to prevent clot formation. The aortic aneurysm is opened lengthwise until normal sized aorta is present at the top and bottom ends. Using long lasting suture material, a tube or Y-shaped graft made from a strong, durable, man-made fabric such as polyester is sewn into place. This graft replaces the ballooned portion of the aorta, and once the clamps are removed, blood flows easily through it into the legs and pelvis. The aneurysm tissue is not removed. Instead, 
Once the graft is in place, the aneurysm sac is wrapped over the newly placed graft to protect it from the abdominal contents. Patients typically spend five or six days in the hospital before discharge, and it is common for the initial post-operative period to be spent in an intensive care unit. After open surgical aneurysm repair, patients often require six to 12 weeks to recover fully before resuming work or strenuous activities. In the past decade, an alternative to open aneurysm repair has emerged and it is currently used to treat the majority of aneurysms located below the kidney arteries. This newer approach, called endovascular repair, or EVAR, is performed by making small incisions in each groin and sliding a cloth-covered stent in the place inside the blood vessel, essentially relining the aorta inside the aneurysm and preventing blood pressure from pushing on the aneurysm wall. While slightly less risky initially, and having a shorter recovery period than open surgical aneurysm repair, EVAR requires follow-up CAT scans at least once a year for life, and 10 to 15 percent of patients require additional interventions to treat problems related to EVAR failures. In addition, no long-term information is available on whether endovascular grafts remain durable for several decades. For healthy patients, particularly those with long remaining projected lifetimes, for patients who cannot return for annual CAT scans, or for patients whose aneurysms extend up to or above the level of the kidney arteries, most vascular surgeons favor open surgical repair of the aneurysm rather than EVAR. All surgeries carry risks related to anesthesia, bleeding, infection, and stress on the heart that might result in irregular heart rhythms or a heart attack. Additional common problems unique to open surgery repair of an aneurysm are the development of a bulge or even a hernia formation at the site of the incision that occurs in 10 to 20 percent of patients and alterations in sexual function in men. Less commonly, complications can develop related to the loss of circulation to the legs or to the large intestine in the immediate post-operative period. Also, for patients with aneurysms that require clamping of the aorta above the level of the kidney arteries, temporary or permanent kidney failure can occur. In the long term, problems with the actual aneurysm graft repair are rare, and additional surgery is required infrequently in patients studied more than a decade after their original procedure. However, patients with abdominal aortic aneurysms are at risk for the development of aneurysms in new locations, so a non-contrast CAT scan is recommended every five years for surveillance purposes. When performed by experienced vascular surgeons, open aneurysm surgery carries a risk of death of less than 5%, and the rate of major complications is low. Studies have shown that the best outcomes are obtained by vascular surgeons as compared to cardiac or general surgeons in hospitals where a large number of open aneurysm procedures are performed each year. You may wish to ask your physician about their training and experience and the frequency with which the hospital cares for open aneurysm surgery patients. This patient education video has been made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.